Okay, this morning we'll start with a, <clears throat> this afternoon, should I say, we'll start with a very short experiment. I can assure you it'll be short. <laughs> you could make it long, but I don't think it's possible for you to do so. And this is the experiment. <clears throat> I want you right now, when no one's new here, so we're all, we're all a bit familiar with this. I just want you to focus on your breathing. That's the first instruction. As attentively as you can, you close your eyes, you focus on your breathing, and immediately you have your first thought, you open your eyes. And if I can't see you, I won't know what you're doing. But, <clears throat> uh, okay, focus on your breathing and with your first thought, open your eyes. Okay, we've got one person to open their eyes, second person, third person. Yeah, it's very interesting. The point is, is that if you're alert and you're asked to feel what you feel, or focus on your breathing or focus on what you're hearing, it's rare for you to have zero thought. But I did that little exercise to point out there is a distinction between thinking, feeling, seeing, hearing, and emoting. So <clears throat> as we progress in our skill of mindfulness and focus, so we get into a condition where we can more exclusively focus on one thing to the exclusion of all other things. It has value. It has value to train the mind in such a way. It's in value in being able to separate yourself from whatever you're experiencing and thereby not suffer what you were experiencing. And to give you an idea of, again, what it takes to separate all these distinctions separating thought from those distinctions. See, I, I, I did a training years ago in America where I had to spend 15 to 20 hours feeling what I feel and doing nothing else. And it drove you crazy. But after you rise over a hump and get there, you're in a state of profound quietude and peace and stillness. And the end phenomenon of this thing was to be feeling without thinking. And that's what it took. Two days sometimes eight hours a day of focusing on feeling what you feel to the exclusion of everything else. Well, we won't be going to any of those extremes, but I just indicate that to you as the importance or the value of knowing the distinction, even if you can't fully experience it. Okay, so, <clears throat> all right. Begin now by just uh, Noticing your breathing as though for the first time. What a strange phenomenon. Okay. Observe the phenomenon of breathing. Is it possible for you to pretend to yourself that you have never experienced that before? And you're looking at that and thinking, oh, my goodness, what on earth is that strange thing? You don't even have a name for it. Experience it. How curious, you're fully experiencing breathing. Now, is it possible for you to get a measure of the length of the inhalation and the length of the exhalation, not giving it a number? Is the inhalation the same length as the exhalation or not? 
about. <clears throat> what about at the tops and the bottom, the gap at the bottom before you breathe in and the gap at the top before you breathe out? Check out those gaps and see if you can notice how long they extend for. No numbers. <clears throat> Now, is it possible for you to isolate and feel your right ear only? Can you pick that out as a sensation? What about your left eye? Can you feel what your left eye feels? Now, is it possible for you to catch the entire sensation of your head as one unit, head. Feel what head feels. Take your time. Now isolate a jaw and feel what the jaw feels. The whole jaw. Now isolate the bridge of your nose and feel what bridge of nose feels. That's the uppermost part of your nose. Is it possible for you to isolate the corners of your mouth and feel what corners feel? Now feeling what corners feel, let them go. Now up to the rims of your nostrils and feel what rims of nostrils feel like. A little bit more.
Okay, completely relax those rims. Okay, wherever you're sitting right now, can you experience the weight of your body? A sensation called weight. It's obviously not the weight of a feather, is it? So it has its own weight. <clears throat> So is it possible for you to notice your entire trunk or torso and imagine it as empty, hollow, thereby weightless? It's an empty space there. Nothing's in there. And what does that do to the weight of your body if you take it as one thing with a hollow interior torso? What you're mainly left with is the weight of your legs. Can you isolate weight of legs sensation? Is it possible for you to feel the weight of your left arm? We'll change the wording on that. And I'll ask you to feel what the left arm feels like. Simply sensation. Now feel what right arm feels like. <clears throat> Now both arms only, simultaneously, feel what that feels. Now be up in your armpits and feel what armpits feel like. ever so closely. <clears throat> Now, is it possible to, for you to get a general impression of the temperature without the number, the sensation of the temperature of the upper part of your body from the waist upwards? Sense called temperature, what does it feel like?
Now, is it possible for you to scan your whole body for movement? Is it the slightest movement in your body, your eyes, your eyelids, anywhere, even the movement of your heart? Spend some time looking for just that and feel what it feels like. Are you finding some points of movement? Just notice it with interest. Them with interest. What about the movement of the chest as you breathe? Just be there for a moment. Are you able to pick up the movement of your heart? <clears throat> Is there pulsing anywhere else? Maybe not, maybe yes. Okay, now become aware of the temperature of both hands. The sensation called temperature. Now feel what hands feel like, independent of temperature, just the sensation called hands. <clears throat> Now that you're there in that sensation, is it possible for you just to let that sensation go? Drop it, relax it. See how you go with that. Just completely let it go. Now come up to the entire surface of your face and feel what that 
feels the skin, everything down. Your attention is on the entire surface of your face. Just isolate the, the sensation of skin surface alone in general. Now go to the area of both eyes, the general area, the area over which you would wear a mask and feel what that area feels like. There is a sensation, is there not there? So you can feel that. So just stay with that and see if you can let those eyes go, so to speak. How much more can you effortlessly let that sensation go? Now, is it possible for you to imagine that your body is surrounded by a soft and beautiful cloud, a delicious cloud of warmth and softness and peace? Almost, it could the temperature of that cloud could not be more perfect. And the cloud all over your body, from the top, the sides, the bottom, front and back, is starting to penetrate your entire interior. The cloud is moving in through your legs, through your torso, through your neck, your head and arms, everything. It's so utterly peaceful and soft and warming and comforting. Oh my goodness. You can just relax so much inside that cloud that has now enveloped your entire body. You and the cloud are one thing, intertwined, joined. It all becomes one very calm, soft, quiet, peaceful, sensation. You, you can sort of curl up in it, you know, go to sleep in it, just wrap yourself in it and drop off and forget everything. You're gone. Not a thought in the world, not a worry in the world, just perfect repose. most perfect. Okay, remain, remaining very relaxed and quiet, just very slowly open your eyes and look out into your field of vision. You're not looking at anything in particular. You're looking at one general field. 
Can you get that idea? One general field with nothing particularly picked out. Tell yourself that's called a sight, how strange it is. You don't even know what it is. You don't know what anything in that field is either. It's just sight, it's the field, and there's the content. And if it weren't for the past, you wouldn't know what a single thing is. Just enjoy not knowing. Now, as you're looking out to the field, just place your attention on the sensation of your body, that out of which you see. See and then feel, feel and see. Just notice that, move back and forth easily, effortlessly. Just relax for a minute and enjoy that. Okay, that brings us to the end of today's session.